Okay, superstars, today I'm going to show you my color routine, wash and a silk press in detail. And I'm going to show you how I go from this to this. Nice silk press shakeability here. I'll show you right after this. Every single day. Hey superstars, it's your girl Malika, aka Miss Magic. Today I'm going to take you through my full color and uh, wash day and silk press routine. Now first of all, don't trip when I take off my scarf. Yes, it's been about eight weeks before I've had a color. So you can see my gray is growing in crazy. That got to go. My hair looks crazy because I've been working out every day and then trying to wrap it back up. But I'm what you call a straight natural. So this is what happens. Okay, I start with using a box dye, uh, Clairol Texture and Tones, dark brown to in. You start with mixing the developer with the regular color. So open that up and mix it together. I part my sections in four, kind of hard with my hair being nappy, but part it in four and clip it off. I am only doing my new growth, so this video is for new growth only, but please read the instructions. Place your gloves on and let's get started. Okay, you take off the tip and mix your dye with your developer. Okay, now this is the way you shake dye, like that, up and down. Do not shake it, shake it, shake it up and down, just like I'm doing. Okay, now we get started. And I usually just part my hair with the tip of the bottle and uh, do like a line. And then I get those edges real good. Do that on the other side, same thing, make a line. Don't worry about it because you're about to, once you do this to your whole head, you're gonna go back in and comb it through to make sure you get it all together. You get to that back, do the same thing. Press a line, I usually just feel my way through. Make sure you get those edges. Same thing on the other side. Make a line, okay? Then when you do all of that, you're gonna go back through, pick up your tail comb, go back through it and just kinda go over the parts. And if you missed anything, take the dye, you should still have like half a bottle left. Take the dye and put some more in. But go through the whole head, use your rat tail comb, comb it in a little bit, not all the way if you're just doing a, a touch up. If you were doing a full color, you would take it all the way to the ends and you probably would need two to three bottles of, of dye, but you only need one box for a retouch. So make sure you go all through your head. And once you've gone all through your head, kind of take your hands and your fingertips and kind of massage it through. You don't have to massage too hard, but just massage the color all the way through to make sure you got it all like I'm doing right here. Okay, once you've got it all through, you're gonna let that sit for 25 minutes. Okay, superstars, once your color has sat for 25 minutes, wait a minute, I forgot my towel. I keep forgetting my towel. All right, let me get my towel, I got my towel. All right, now we're gonna wash our hair. I'm going to uh, tell you what I use on this head. The color has sat for 25 minutes. You don't need to touch it anymore. Oh, get your gloves too. I don't use gloves when I wash my hands, but you should because you, you want to die off your hands. Okay, so what I like to use is the L'Oreal L5 Conditioner and Shampoo. This is the color Vibrancy. And what this does is just make your color a little bit more vibrant and shiny. Um, and then when I'm deep conditioning, I like to use the L5 Volume Filler by L'Oreal. And I really love this conditioner. I think it helps with the shakeability of my hair. Like a, uh, once again, the description will be linked below from Amazon, Ms. Magic 20. Um, you'll be able to find all of the products there that I use for this silk press. Okay, so those are the shampoo and the conditioner. Let's get started washing our hair. Okay, so now you want to make sure the water is warm, not too hot. Make sure you test the water before you put your head under there. Okay, so now what we're doing is just rinsing out all of the color. You want to kind of make sure you get it all out where the water is rinsing clear. So get that back, front, side, middle, get up in there, get all that color out. All right, now we're going to get the shampooing. For color, you can do two to three shampoos for head. I'm just going to do two, and then I'm going to do a deep conditioner. 
you want to get a good lather and just to make sure all of that color is out. So let's do the second shampoo. Get a nice good lather. Rub it in. Okay, we're going to rinse it out. Make sure you get all the soap out, all the color out. And once you've done that, you can do your deep conditioner, which I'm about to do now. All right. So I'm going to take that uh, thickening shampoo, I mean conditioner, and put it all in. Comb it through with a wide tooth comb. Sorry, y'all. I'm very tender-headed. So just comb it in. Use as much as necessary. Put a cap on. And then I'm going to rinse it out in the shower. So see you guys after my shower. Oh, I'm done. All right. Well, I'm back. I've rinsed the conditioner out. And now it's time to get started on my silk press. Okay, guys. We're going to get straight into this silk press. We're going to spray our hair with heat protectant. I use Tresemme, Keratin Smooth, spray it all over. And then I'm using this Thermal Balm uh, pomade that I found. I use my red blow dryer to blow dry my hair. Now, like I said, if I'm going too fast, the link will be down in the description below. That was a red, my red blow dryer. That was Tresemme Balm uh, heat protectant and then Tresemme Keratin Smooth heat protectant that I like to use on my hair. Um, when I do blow dry my hair, I usually do the back first and then I blow dry the front to the front and then I take it and blow dry the front to the back. And this helps with um, it becoming bouncy as well to blow dry your hair in all different directions. So that's what I'm doing here. I use a comb attachment because it's much easier. It just makes my life easier, period. Okay, guys, this is me all blow dried. I'm going to section it off into three parts to start curling. I had to open the window. I got hot as ever. Okay, I'm going to use a little of that pink oil um, just to put it. I put it in my hands first and massage it all through my hair. Make sure you get your ends. Okay, that's a flat iron spray that I did spray a little bit of. I'm just trying it out, so I can't really tell y'all the benefits. Okay, let's uh, part it in three. All right, then I leave the back out, and I start on the back first. So I'm going to turn around and show you all how I curl. I usually part off my section, and then I just get to curl. And don't ask me my rhyme or reason or how I Flip the flat iron. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't even mention the damn flat iron that I use. So let's do that. It's the Remington. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is the Remington flat iron anti frizz that will be linked down below as well. Um, that's what I use at home. Okay, now let's get to these curls. As I was saying, there's no rhyme or reason of how I curl my hair. I just get in there and just start curling. But you can kind of see what I'm doing. The bottom layer I leave like flat because I like it to look long in the back. So I don't really curl, curl it. And after I do that, I just start curling any kind of which way because I like the way my cur curls fall when I do that. They just kind of curl, they just kind of fall kind of wild. And that's what I like. And as you see, I left out a big old chunk in that back, but that's okay, I'm gonna catch it. I usually just curl the whole back without looking, and then once I finish, I'll take a mirror, and I will look at the back to see what I missed, and then just go over what I missed. There it is. That's when I found out. I'm like, what happened to there? I, I saw it in the mirror that I missed that big old chunk in the back. So I put a little curl in there. All right, and then once I finish the back, I turn around and get to curl in my front. And like I said, there is no rhyme or reason of how I put these curls in my hair. I just make it do what it do and figure it out later. If I need to go in and fix the curl after I'm done, then I'll go in and fix the curl. So I'll take the smaller side first and start curling that. I like to have a little feathered look, so I always go in and try to do like feather curls, as you see. And that's how I do that, it's a little flick of the wrist. It take a little practice, but you can get it. 
It didn't take me that long. You can definitely get it. All right, let's do the other side. Now I leave the middle out because um, so you can put on your makeup or you know cleanse your face or do whatever the hell you want to do. So I leave that top out. I don't throw that until I'm ready. So I'm about to get ready after I finish this, and I will be back. All right, I am back. I put a little makeup on, put some eyebrows on, and now we can top curl the top layer of our head. Um, same thing, I put the curls in, going kind of to the back. Put a little bit more polish in too. It kind of looked a little dry. All right, so I'm just finishing up, curling my little curls. I told you that, no rhyme or reason. Just put curls in it. And I'm, I'm super late for work now, so I'm speedballing, I'm sorry. But yep, I am curling my hair. Right and now, I kind of just like to finger through it. When I'm done, this is it. This is how the curls look when I'm all done. Oop, camera almost fell on me. Okay, all right. So now I'm just going to finger through my hair That's at first. And because uh, like I said, I like my curls to just fall as you may. I wouldn't use a regular uh, tooth comb at this point, just a wide tooth comb. I will show it to you in a minute. And I'll link a description, that, I mean not description, I'll link a uh, link down below where you can get a feather comb as well. So, yep, now I'm just fingering through my hair. This is how I like a tousled, very tousled look. Okay, this is the wide tooth comb I was talking about. So for my bangs, I do like a more controlled look and just in the bang area. So I'll take the feather comb and kind of like comb it back and push it forward. Um, I don't know what that little curl at the top is doing. I'm gonna have to fix that because that's gonna piss me off. So yeah, let's take the flat iron and we do that curl. That one little curl is bothering me all day long. So yeah, we're gonna fix that. And then basically, ladies, we're done. Let's fix that curl. All right, she's gonna put a little twist in it. There we go. Fix. All right, guys, I am done. I gotta get my butt to work. I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all put me a little feather there. All right. And basically, that is my color. Put a little hair polish on. My color. Washed and silk press video. I'm gonna show you my shakeability. Yep, she ready. Now I gotta get my butt to work for now. Once I do my hair, I can't stay out the mirror. But look at this shakeability, y'all. There you go. That's what that do. Easy at home. Mm -hmm. You don't have you can go to the salon if you want to, but you don't have to. You can do your hair at home. It just takes a little practice. But there she go, girl. She ready. She ready for work. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And if you are not subscribed, I would like you to subscribe to my channel. Like, comment. All right. She's just looking cute. That's all. Ms. Magic, if you don't go your butt to work, you got people waiting on you. Y'all still here. I done told y'all guys to go. I got to go to work. I ain't got time to be playing around with y'all. Y'all go to work too. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.